Thanks for having me. Uh, a wee bit nervous, but here I go. On behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today to celebrate our marriage. This leads me to my gorgeous new wife, the woman of the hour. You look absolutely stunning. I'm going to start by talking about our first date and how Angela finally agreed to go on it after me asking a number of times. At the start, she wasn't really interested, as Kevin's told you, but we met over a wee cup of tea in Frankie and Benny's and it just kind of snowballed from there. Next thing I knew, we had another date that Friday night and we were seeing each other two or three times a week up and down from Lurgan to Newton Abbey, which is quite a drive. <laughs> so we got sick of that and I moved in. <laughs> <laughs> with Anza and I, I knew very quickly that I could see a future with her. And in no time at all, she was meeting my family and friends from a graduation from university. She's the only girl I've ever left my friends on a night out to go and see. It's not easy to tell your friends that you're going to stay in Belfast to go and see about a girl when they're all trying to catch the train back to Lurgan. <laughs> I'm sure a few choice words were said about me that night. In this relatively short period of time, we've created a number of great, happy memories together, and I know the future will bring many more. If you asked me three years ago, did I think I'd be standing here today, I'd probably say no. But then again, I didn't expect to meet the woman of my dreams, for us to have a beautiful daughter, and for us to start the rest of our life together. It's been the making of me, and I'm a better man because he is. Becoming parents has been a life-changing experience, and it's brought a new dynamic to our relationship. I know, I know. I'll get, I'll get off in a minute. <laughs> I can tell by how great a mother Angela is that she'll make an amazing life.
Okay, our second official dance of the night is the father-daughter dance. 